Captain, are you, are you ready? Are you willing? Are you able to sail off into the deep way beyond uh, Davy Jones' locker, shall we go? Because these are the days for uh, vengeance by God. God brings forth judgment, and judgment is now proclaimed on he who shall shiver me timbers be walking the plank because morgue official the lawless one revealed is now being attacked by the goodness of love upon the latter day mountain the rebukes of many shall go forth from the latter day mountain and these are the days when diarrhea shit dung crap pie will go up morgue official's nose like a rubber hose until he meets the Jolly Roger as he takes the Grim Reaper right away from he who has fancied himself as Mr. Fancy Pants, death guy, swallowing the death sword, don't you know? And so in this hour, uh, morgue official, Mr. Morgan Knight, has been found guilty of treason against love because he founded his uh, Hyperion, Hyperion religion, which is foamy <laughs> on the uh, platform uh, of world peace and unity amongst men. And yet, even though he is the leader of this new uh, religion of unity and peace to bring uh, days of goodness into the world. He has absolutely no answers. So he must walk the plank of judgment. And as he does, he shall be cast away to where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth if he be uh, guilty of the unconditional uh, unforgettable, unforgivable sin, which is unforgettable. God cannot even forgive that one, even though he forgives all sin. But that is the sin above all other sin, to kick out love right out of your heart. It is totally loveless for Morgan Knight, the founder of Hyperionism, to not want to venture off into the deep waters of how we could extrapolate and try to reason it out with logic and reason, as he always mousily says. Mousily, mousily, but guess what? The roaring lion of Zion wants all the good treasure hunters to go out into the deep, for he is the excellence of treasure, and he is the treasure of excellence, which is his love alone. So walk the plank until you be dangling by your your two your toenails there, Mr. Morgan Knight. You don't want to die by a sword like Revelation says of you in your future. Then you better uh, you better quote uh, the good book when you come to Daniel and humble yourself in front of him for all. Uh, whose faith is good shall live by my faith. That is what is foretold to me. And all have no root or strings or roots or branches to hold on to. So shiver your own timbers there, Mr. Morgan, Mr. Abused Guy. And i sorry that my ancestors twisted the word of God, but from off this here latter day mountain, the wise will shine as the stars, as stupids like you, who is a, a savant. You are clearly a genius, but you are awfully slow. <laughs> and as you get uh, the point of your own uh, sword of death, uh, it is time to get with the real program, Mr. Morgan Knight, because you cannot lead anyone into a new age of peace when you have none yourself. There is no way in hell that I can condemn atheists like you, because atheists like you have been amongst the smartest of all people. <laughs> 
because atheists like you and Penn and Teller are my heroes. Uh, he always says, how badly do you have got to hate someone, not to proselytize, not to run over there and tell the people what could save them, but nobody ever gets saved. It is a complete fallacy of the false Christian cult which uh, proclaims that people get saved when Jesus himself said all sin is forgiven except the unforgivable sin to cast love right out of him. And then you will be cast into the land of the walking dead where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And in those days, uh, your love, which used to be a verb in motion as a little kid, it becomes a noun and it's dead, giving you a form of uh, uh, beauty and a form of godliness, but denying the power of love, which should be shivering your own timber from the inside out. And so, Morgan, get to the back of the line. You have been shouted down by logic and reason, and you will have no response to that, as millions of people eventually come to realize that they don't want a coward who is a spiritual eunuch with no spiritual balls, regardless of what uh, uh, sexuality you want to be. Only the purest blessings are coming forth from the great white throne for all gays and for all atheists who keep their love alive. And all those against that, let them shiver their own timbers too. For he who is the lily of the valley and the rose of Sharon, that roaring lion of Zion, he's roaring louder than ever before unto all those who were smart enough to know that there should be never no fear in love, for that is the perfect name to which every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. Jesus was just a distortional false God of a false Jesus. And that false Jesus, he was not the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. God was not the God of all mankind. Uh, as John 10 says and Jeremiah 32, 27. And it is true that the true God has never been a Lord God of conditional love like the Jesus God, the false God, who was as Satan himself. Blow me down and shiver your own timbers some more. Take no offense though, because only true love is our Lord God. God would never take away an illusion of him without giving you something better, which is no illusion or delusion. It is the purest truth of love. Uh, great is his magnificence of his beneficence, and his glory of love shall cover the earth as waters cover the sea, for he is our love of the ages. Our, he is the beautiful, the beloved, and the blessed, who is now sending forth uh, a time where we will all hold our hats, and we will proclaim the truest truth, and we will swear allegiance unto the Lamb, as he gives us the mark of the Lamb upon our foreheads, as Revelation 9-4 has foretold for this hour. So don't be blind, even if you could see, spotlight the truth. And if you need both eyes, open them. Because in this hour, it is time to go out into the deep. And the treasure of excellence is his love. So always be uh, a first-rate uh, version of yourself. And never be a second-rate version of someone else. And uh, we need to do what our heart tells us to do. And so now it is tra time to go become treasure hunters, uh, to go out into the deep. We must leave the safety of the shore. So all good swabbies, report for duty. Lift up the, the main way. Pull up the anchor. Get the ropes tight. Pull in all the supplies. Get ready to shove off me mateys because in this hour as we go forth I tell you truly the treasure has been scattered and we need to follow the lead of the map that the navigator of navigators has left for us which is 
the uh, prophecy of the word of God who will make a way where it has seemed that there has been no way. And so make today a treasure hunt of delight as you come and follow me. For I am Daniel, the latter day Daniel. <laughs> and all of you were told the vision was for the appointed time at the end. Yeah, 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 faithless people, if you gave up on that vision, the vision was for the end. And the vision was written plainly on the tablets. So all those hearing it read may run. The wheat and the tares cannot grow together any longer. So it is time to get out there. And we need to take life as it comes as we search for the most beautiful treasure. The treasure that reflects the sapphire sea. The crystalline bottomless blue ocean of the forgetfulness of the Lord's greatest love. He has never loved you, Swabies. He has truly adored you deeply. The mystery of God hid the depth of his love, but the covenant makes it all plain again. And the first are last, and last are first. And Revelation 10, 7 has now manifested. And as we embrace the treasure of excellence, know that all nations have now become the Lord's. And all faith is obsolete, you swabbies. Uh, and it's time to go for the desert, uh, for the dessert. Uh, in the desert no more. Time for the living water to flood out of heaven. And in this day, the Lord God Almighty, upon off this mountain, uh, the latter-day mountain of Isaiah 2, Micah 4, and Isaiah 25, a food overflowing with spiritual food. Who will come and feed the master's household meat and food while, uh, while the master is away? Christ the Lord, he say, Yeshua, Jesus, said in Matthew 24, 45. And it's time to look no more to the food of religion. Uh, the milk of the word has long gone sour and rotten. The distortionalities were created when early Christians grabbed and stole all the Hebrew books like good pirates. And then they dared to steal their identity too. <laughs> And they said, we are Israel, and all the prophecy in these books is for us. <laughs> but in the latter days, the Bible disputes that, because it is written in the latter days, the Lord God would be the God of Israel and all families of Israel. And it is written that they would then inherit all mankind. Isaiah 54, 3. And then they would be given an appointed new name in the end days. Uh, their name would be Chrislam because they have inherited all born agains. All who love are born of God, literally, and know him because he is my mates. He is love living within each and every one of you. And all of you stupid swabbies that let your love die, then you would be cast away as fools. So be not foolish anymore. And it is time uh, to realize it's like a treasure hunt in these days of people will just uh, embrace that which shines as emeralds, rubies, and sapphires in the deep of the night because now has come away. And so be a detective and see that the treasure that you find here goes deeper than deep ever was. And the miracle of the miraculous is the wonder of all wonders, the miraculous uh, amazement of all amazements. So enter now and come off, shove off with me into the deep. And uh, down there the killer whales are smiling. And as we go, know that poor Morga Fest official will be swimming with these beasties. And I purposely have seen to it that these guys have not ate for about a month. They're burping morgue, uh, morgue bait. And so death will they feast on because they are killers and they like a little bit of their very own vengeance. So come on, Mr. Morg, and meet uh, your grim reapers who are grinning cheek to cheek. <laughs> oh, happy, happy Halloween, my brother of another mother. <laughs> <laughs>
repent and grow some spiritual you know what some chestnuts and maybe you could be a leader when you wake up from out of your nightmare but in the meanwhile all us wise that wants to shine as the stars and look through glass darkly no more it's time for our treasure hunt and wherein the treasures will never again be unsure of the treasure that is waiting for them it is unconditional love for wide is the way unto hell paid by our conditional love where every day uh, people like morgue official they decide and rationalize and justify why it could be another day not to love, not to be kind, not to smile, not to truly love anybody unless there's a reason for it. To have conditions, to have just because kind of love. Uh, never uh, in spite of love, never uh, through it all kind of love. And that kind of love is shallow as a glass of water. You can never receive the great ocean of love that our Lord thereof is pouring out unless you open your hearts, expand your uh, understanding. For God's people have always been destroyed by uh, lack of knowledge. So do not walk the morgue with, uh, to the morgue with morgue as he goes forth. And remember the treasure doesn't do the hunting. We must go look for it. So come with me and get ready to shove off because the greatest treasures are those invisible uh, to the eye and they are found by open hearts. And in this hour, it is time to understand that some people spend so much time hunting treasure that they fail to see all of the treasure that's around them. It's like uh, shifting through gold, through a lot of uh, gold and sand and you can't tell what's real and what's fake. But these are the days when anyone walking with truth will see that wide is the way to hell paved with conditional love. Narrow is the way paved unto heaven. And so in this hour, more than ever, it is time. Shiver me timbers, come away with me. It is time to hear the living waters beckon because in this hour of golden sailing hours, as we sail away, we must now understand that fortune is now smiling upon those daring to dream deeply of love. And let the just come to see that life is so sharp and so short that some of its rules needs to be broken very badly sometimes. So be sure to forgive quickly, kiss slowly, love unconditionally, love truly, laugh uncontrollably, and never regret anything that makes you smile like the transforming dove of love now will. For he is the most regal eagle of the eons for all who do not want to walk the plank. So go ahead and make your very own day. Throw off the ropes that have kept you bound. Then come and sail away upon the blessed winds of imagination that shall now bring forth much peace, my mateys. And it's time to go out into the deepest of waters and say to that flood of love to stop in the middle of your dried up valleys. He will not obey you. He will gush through like the mighty Niagara and uh, Euphrates and the Amazon and the Mississippi on steroids. And he will uproot with his flowing charity, his flowing living water, all of your roots and all of your dead trees. And you will have no branch or, or root to hold on to in the face of truth, as uh, Malachi says. For these are the days, mateys, of the restoration of all things. And I tell you, all things are restored by his word alone, with no interruptions, no uh, adulterations, 
uh, and know that people cannot change his wind, but they can adjust their sails to reach the kingdom of love. And the wind of his blessedness is full, and the tide of blessed understandings is with us. For there isn't anyone out there that could ever discover new treasures of excellent love without losing sight of the shore of our racial bigotry and our racial spiritual race, racism. We are like a Ku Klux Klan, and anyone that doesn't believe what we believe, we condemn them when the Bible condemns them not. The Bible says all. All is a big little word. All who love are born again and know him because he is love. And so in this hour, it's time to pull up the anchors so we could go forth. And while traveling unto our serenity, let the wise count the surrounding waves of joy to see love's most brightest gift. For we might now sail off to his very best mercy within a beautiful sphere that looks like a star sapphire that shall never again see us drifting any more in darkness, the gross darkness of Isaiah 60, Micah 4, and uh, of uh, Isaiah 25. The veil is ripped now from off all nations. And the Lord says, and I will forgive your iniquities, and I shall never remember it. And I will write my law and my love on your heart. Send Satan to the pit for a thousand years as well, as Revelation 12 and Daniel 12 once says. And I will cut these days short so that the great bearer of Daniel 7, 5, that hears the words, now you may go eat all the flesh that you would like so he could become impotent if my people of love would just pass on my messages. And so in this hour, it's time to set sail uh, into the Lord's very best mercy and to go ahead. And he will help us to see clearly, looking through no glass darkly no longer. He will help us to see that uh, as we go, that uh, the compass is come of his love. And we can see clearly now that the weather that's been in the way is clear and we can see that what lies behind us and what lies before us are really very small matters when compared to our eternal truth. And I tell you that he who is our majesty of majesties, our hero of heroes, our icon of icons, uh, will rebuke the pirate of pirates more as he walks that plank. And as all good people follow me, the truest Hyperion of all, as we uh, follow logic and reason to new places, higher places, where more never thought anybody could go. And so in this hour, it's time to turn unto all truth. And so in that way, we can only find everlasting honest, honesty alone. So let every soul desiring to see the whole circle of the earth through the spiritual eyes of blessedness now follow his new crystal clear map to the edge of tomorrow's very best new dreams. A new dreams of a day when the brotherhood of man will arise and it, where it will never matter whether there is a heaven or a hell below us. For we will live each day as they come with love and patience and, and perfection of peace that so shall surround all good pirates who will steal no more hatefulness and racism. Give that back. Puke up that shit. I don't got pirate boots deep enough for that kind of learning. So get on with having good treasure. Think on things that are lovely and of a good report. And let every brave soul, much braver than that former sword swallower, Morgan, who's chicken of a debate on how to bring unity in the world. I've got the answers, and he does not. And he knows it. That's why he was shivering all his way up to the plank. And somebody's got that guy in chains right now. And as soon as this video uh, is over, know that that's it for him.
And so in this hour, we must keep following our mending hearts, for we must let go of our past plans. Blessed are all of those following me out uh, into the deep. Let curiosity now become your very best plot guide unto the glory of love. And for such people of wisdom will have their dreams all set, and they will set sail like brave pirates to new places where the uh, treasure of happiness is immeasurable. And in this hour, as we go forth, uh, then we will be obeying our living peace who offers the bliss that's far beyond our understandings there, Medes. And so who would be happier? He who has braved the journey past many, many storms and gained much experience uh, working and surviving or one that has refused to leave the dock, a sissy like uh, uh, Morgan, and I'm not talking about his sexuality, I'm talking about a sissy spirituality. Uh, and so know that it is time that people like him would stop being couch potatoes in their mundane life. Uh, and so it's time that uh, all people of love need to praise love because it is he who alone who is the most manifest treasure of excellence. And he gives now forth his word in this hour and uh, so that we will not have to be destroyed for our lack of understanding anymore. Uh, so throw off the bowlines, be aware, catch this wind of the Lord, for it's therefore the hour, the golden hour, to sail away for the hour of the age of the lion and the lamb, which is arising now conceptually. And know that a smooth sea has never made any sailor skillful in any way, you swabbies. So hate not, despise not the monks, and despise not prophecy. Embrace all that is good and keep all that does shine good, but know that in order to pull up the anchor, the Lord's faithful few must have the truest faith to believe that it is now a possibility that the Lord God has now sent forth this badly needed message in order to save the earth. For he said that unless these days were cut short by the saber of all sabers, that no flesh could be saved. And that saber is the sickle of Revelation 14, which he has put into his earth for the harvest of his love. For he is now revealed as the sower of the seed of love, yes, swabies, uh, that has overtaken his own reaper, who is I, Elijah, who is now working at restoring all things. So expect rough, rough waters ahead. And remember, rough, rough goes the doggy. Rough, rough uh, does doggy not have unconditional love as we know the little doggies do. Do you think that God could create a, 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 a rock so heavy that he could not lift it? Do you think he could create a little doggy with unconditional love and he would not have greater unconditional love? So it's time for logic and reason, Daniel style, because Morg is absentee and he has been found guilty because he's gutless and will not. Uh, I'm gonna be attacking him relentlessly. Thousands of videos. I will soon have more videos about Morg official than Morg official has about Morg official. <laughs> as I repudiate his reputation and smush it into the ground, into the mud of much diarrhea that he's been shitting out uh, as he thinks about the idea of debating he who cannot be defeated. And so the just shall live by my faith, even though my soul might not be upright. <laughs> as Habakkuk too. King James and the Jewish Bible has said. And as the obedient of the Lord's presence of love uh, departs now for love's deepest living waters, let every servant of love, let them all of us now fiercely rebuke any pride of man. And to the rainbow pride of all people, 
uh, gay or straight or whatever you are, know that there is no condemnation for anyone who has their love as a little child, who commits not the unforgivable sin of uh, kicking our Lord Jesus Christ Almighty out of our hearts. So if you have love as a child and you love someone or something unconditional, even if it's the size of a grain of a mustard seed, watch the video. You'll be all right. Even if you go two steps forward and one step back, watch the video, I dare you, the deathbed confession of Anton LaVey. And uh, even though he had wrote the book of Satan on his deathbed, he was like stuck in an elevator. Oh no, I'm stuck in the elevator. And God introduced himself and said, hey. And Anton said, whoa. <laughs> he said, but I created the book of Satan. Ah! So it is time that we got to quit looking down upon others because every single life matters. And in order for all of us to have both oars in the water, we need to entertain the idea that our Lord God Almighty can still talk through any messenger that he chooses to call forth. I am the messenger of the North. I am Shiloh. I am Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. I am Shiloh, one who has eyes red and dull of wine. I am a man with a bowling shirt on that bowled seven strikes. I am one, as Isaiah 25, that is rebuking many from afar. Man, uh, just watch my last uh, morgue official uh, video that I created, I think yesterday. Was it yesterday? That is my very best rebuke video that I have ever done. And uh, yeah, it was called, uh, what was it called? Uh, it was called, uh, which one? Oh yeah, the manifest Latter-day Mountain of Isaiah 2, 25 and uh, Micah 4. And if you haven't watched that one, I highly suggest it. People, uh, if you do not want to be destroyed, uh, it's time to start liking these videos because I'm not doing it for my my breath. No one's given me a dollar. I'm doing this because I love a bunch of loveless jerks who can't even say hello to me.